Oh yes, I can use lesser restoration on her. Boom. <laughs> Okay, a lovely viewer by the name of Patrick has asked us to make our text size a little bit bigger for subtitles and whatnot. So we've done that, so if you're viewing on a phone or a smaller screen, it'll be a bit more likely you'll be able to read it. But let's continue exploring the hollow, speaking to all the tieflings. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Well, that's a warning if I've ever heard one. But... What about all these guys? Hey, it's Will, Children. the guy who came down at the uh, gate to help us. Go on. Give me a best shot. Weak. Not bad. Again. Oh. <laughs> He's angry. He's angry. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. You can do it, Umi. Yes. Uh, heed the man's words, child. His form is highly efficient. Kind words in unkind times, my friend. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your s- The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. Oh, you he's are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> oh, that cut off. <laughs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Yes, sir. Um, another escapee. Thank the gods, I need all the friends I can get. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. We just succeeded a check on that, I'm pretty sure. I feel like it just disappeared too quickly. But... Hmm. Ooh, comforting with devils? I don't know if that's what I want to say. Uh... Hunting in the hells? Dangerous territory. I'm no stranger to the infernal. Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. See, I know that we can get her as a companion too, which is kind of cool. Um, hmm. Let's join forces. I'll help you cast this devil back into the hells. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. It is. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Go to my camp. Yes, because I want you, but not on my team right this second. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Beauty. Okay, who else can we talk to? This guy looks like someone. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Sure. Um. No, not that. Uh, be strong and watch over your kin. In trust, there is victory. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I prefer when they smile. You're welcome. Got to do what you got to do. You know, you got to be nice sometimes. Step! 
parry, strike, damn it! It's just not landing. Interesting technique, having some trouble. Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Ooh, what are we good at? I mean, insight. No wonder you're struggling. You've no balance. Space your feet farther apart. We should get a plus five on this one, so hopefully we're fine. Natural 20! Oh, baby. I'll, I'll try and brace them better. Um, like so. Step, brace, parry, swing! Yes. better. You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Uh, one last thing. Don't shout out your moves like that. It spoils a surprise for your foe. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. Keep training. In time, you'll make short work of any goblins. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. See ya. My, um, Lazel is inspired. Okay, cool. We did something for Lazel with that, I guess. And got a battle axe. Okay, okay. I know that we probably can't wield the battle axe, but Lazel might be able to. Battle axe 4 to 13. She's currently wielding 4 to 13. Um, I don't think it makes much of a difference, though. Like at all. But I'm also noticing that our checks seem to be disappearing really quickly, and maybe that's something to do with the um, interface changes that I made, which I'm a little bit worried about. I'm going to drop the, the text size down a tiny bit. And I don't know if it'll make a difference. But could just be, again, that the game's new. They had another update already that changed like 150 things. And that was like a day after the game came out. So they're very on the ball. Let's go talk to this little kid. And we know that this little kid's a punk. Actually, can we talk to the cow or the ox? Okay, insight failed. <laughs> Uh, oh, we got bad arcana. Um, maybe we can try. The ox make you uneasy. Try to discern why? Sure. Oh, baby. Even with the minus one. Easy success. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. What do you mean? Ooh. Oh, it's a person? <laughs> Was it? Why did it just say moo? Huh? Well, how do I work it out? What about the bored ox? Or hungry ox? Are they druids or something that are like turned into people? What's the go here? Okay. Interesting. Maybe we can work out what the go is with them at some point. Hey buddy, how you doing? He stares right past you, as if you're invisible. Or boring. Um, pretty boring. You are right? Mm-hmm. Grunt. <laughs> He's still staring right past you. Leave. You can do that. What a little punk, hey? Uh, let's lockpick this chest, shall we? Roll the dice. Oh no. Horrible. Horrible. We got done in. Uh, try again with the thieves tools. It's a 15. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, it's probably not worth it to add guidance. We'll try one more time. Oh, we did it that time. Oh baby, we succeeded. But is there anything good? Oh, one gold. Yeah, that was really worth my time and effort. Good goddamn lord. Hey, buddy. What's up? I know you're a little sneak. Whoa! Hey! 
Can't say I've ever seen someone like you before. I don't see many dragonborns around here, hey? Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. That was a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet, mister. Go on. Take the ring and watch your fortune change. They're gonna steal from me, by the way. Sleight of hand. Mimic his trick and make the ring disappear. Ooh, 15. Yeah, let's add some guidance as well. Why not? Oh, and it didn't help anyway. We rolled horribly. Oh, no. <laughs> I could have rolled again, but it's probably not worth it. Uh. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> Hard luck, mister. But like I said, we can change that. Watch. I feel like I don't want to take the ring. See ya, buddy. What about you, Sophie? Oh, um, I... Oh, you're a very... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. Human-looking tiefling. What? Um... I didn't know they could be the human-coloured. So, don't steal anything! I'm watching you. Sure. Why not, buddy? Now, I'm going to take the ring because, you know, sometimes hey, you got to get engaged. Look to buy, sell, or what? Oh, he won't give me the I ring this time. It. Hang on. That's what I got. Damn it, I failed my perception check. Shite. Okay. So he, we haven't noticed that, like I say, I'm almost certain he steals from us. Can I trade him? I should probably sell some stuff, hey. Like, what have I got that's worth a little bit of money? The soul co coins worth money, but they can power infernal engines. I don't know what that is, but it sounds helpful. I mean, we could sell our morning stars, I guess. And... I don't want to sell too much stuff at the moment. Yeah, we'll switch to trade mode though, because then we can just get the gold straight away. There we go. Nothing caught your eye, huh? Still failed the perception check. It's nothing but junk. Far be it from me to argue with that discerning eye of yours, sir. Damn it. Anyway, see you again sometime. Take care. Safe travels. Yeah, we've been looted, by the way. Perception succeeded you that time. Your bag feels light. Yep. Finally. You were just robbed. Took you long enough. Okay. Yep, there he went. I saw him. Chase him down. He's running. Yeah, buddy, get wrecked. Can I use it? I can't, okay. I can't use this right now, so we gotta get in there somehow. He's little, little small child. Actually, this is probably a bad plan because it doesn't make sense that it would necessarily work. Ooh, actually. I can shapeshift using my special hat, and can I turn into like a little little boy? What's a like a dwarf? I feel like a dwarf would fit, right? Or halfling? A halfling's got to fit. <laughs> it does. That works. Oh heck yeah, baby! Very nice. Now I've lost my friends, so if we get into combat, I'm going to be in trouble. Now, I think the best course of action is to shapeshift into a, a tiefling, right? Because these guys are tieflings. So now I'm a tiefling. Hopefully they don't hate me because I snuck into their little house. And if they attack me, I'm going to have to kill a bunch of children. <laughs> you can't be here. This is our hideout. Well, look who's come to visit. You don't My know who kids I am. say you've been busy since you got here. Not sure why you're poking your nose in our business, though. I don't even know what your business is. None of yours. This is our hideout. But hey, maybe you didn't know. Because of that, I'll give you a ten count to leave. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You're joking, right? Nine. Eight. 
I'm sorry, who wants to fight? That's the question. Zaki. You don't look so tough. Malfoy of a hobgoblin all by herself. Oh, how exciting for Mole. Seven, Maybe to turn into a giant six, spider and beat you across four, the head. Little slow on the uptake, aren't you? You ready to tell me what sort of racket you're running down here? We have nothing to talk about. I told you to leave. What happens next is your fault. Don't make me murder a bunch of children. Come on. Chase him down. Chase this one down. Can I get out this way? No. Okay. Can I get out that way? Now, I'm a bit worried about what does happen next. Because they all just scattered. And I don't have my companions with me. Oh, I didn't want to loot that. Whoops. Who are you? Oh, you're Mole again. You did this to yourself. Did what to myself? Did what? What do you think I did to myself? You stole from me. I'll do what I want. I am actually curious. Misty Step. Over here? Is that worth using? <laughs> I have a feeling that wasn't worth using. <laughs> Shite. Uh, can I jump to here? Too far. Oh, maybe, maybe, can I get, come on, my jump can't be that. Oh, I have a shovel? When did I get that? Jump. <laughs> nice. I still don't think there's a reason to be here. But, but sure. Well, maybe I should jump back. I also don't know what's meant to be happening to me. This child is threatening me and I don't know what that means for, for us. Okay, I'll lose one HP. Oh no, I won't lose any if I jump there. Sick. Easy peasy. Okay. Can't go down there. Now, I don't know if I'm a, it's a good idea to stay as a tiefling. Or if I should be switching into something else. This is where we just went up, right? Yeah, it is. So, I don't know what you think's happening to me, by the way, mole. Your little mole. But, this, you don't really have any friends, but looks of it. Your other friend ran off, and I don't know quite what that means. But there's a book. I don't know where your friend went. Did they go to get help, or what? Well, there's nothing really going on down here. I guess we'll endeavour to leave the way we came in. That's about all I'm seeing. Unless, is there something up here? Oh, maybe, maybe. What we got? Pull the switch. There's a ladder. Well, that'll be another way in and out, I guess. And then, ooh, it looks like there's something over here. Definitely can't jump that far. But, a little bit of a Misty Step might work, right? Uh, where's Misty Step there? But it's a spell, right? So it's going to run out if I use it again. Maybe I should go and get my companions first. Head out the hatch ladder. Hey, Donnie. Are you the Ooh. one that doesn't talk? He stares right past you, as you if are. you're invisible. Okay, leave. Now, my companions. Can you guys group back up with me? Hey, you're back. Here to buy some stuff? I'm here to beat you up. Me? No, promise. I'm just a kid trying to make a living. You know who you should talk to? Mol. She's my boss, I guess. Good at finding stuff. Her office is through the crack in the wall over there, if you can fit. She what? We've met, she tried to kill Cousin me. Cousin Rust, mister? what I said. What do you do? You know what? Forget your junk. You've got bigger problems if you're pissed off Mole. You want to bet? You ran. Oh, um, hi. Yeah. I've been robbed. Me? What do you know? Suspicious? 
No. You're a liar. Tell me the truth or I'll feed you to the bear. To a bear. Yeah, little punk. Tell me the goddamn truth. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sorry, but Mole has done nothing. Is Mole the one who stole from me? What? No, no, it wasn't her. She's my, um, my boss. I shouldn't have said that. I gotta go. Before you can say anything else, she sprints away. Hey, you're back. Here to buy some stuff? No. Okay, guys. Oh wait, where's the rest of the boys? Yeah, everyone come here. I'm turning myself back into my natural form, because we are an ultimate dragonborn. We don't take the form of other races. I mean, we do. That's literally what we do. Now, where was that ladder? Like, where did I climb up? It was like, just around here, right? Ah, through here. Now we can go back down with our whole party. And beat the goddamn hell out of Mole, hey? Where are you, Mole? Wanna get beaten? That's right. Oh, you ran, I see. Talk to me. Never see us coming. Or not. Sure, don't talk to me. Let's go talk to Mole. Let's beat Mole up and get our stuff back. I don't even you know what did got this stolen. To yourself. I think you're wrong. Okay, uh, Asterion, you come here. I want you to do a little bit of sneaking. Pickpocket. Get your gold back. Get your gold back, that's right. Failed. Okay. We're just gonna fail every time. We're going to own that town. How are we failing? I want to know. Steal. Oh, we did it that time. Heck yeah. Okay. What else you got? You know what? I want to know what else you've got. Maybe I can take something else. Good. Thieves tools. That's always nice to have. Uh, some elixirs. Fail. What about this? Awesome that as well so I'm learning that they don't seem to be able to do anything <laughs> I'll just try and take everything good work Asterion because even when we fail what are they gonna do <laughs> okay well you probably don't need to hide anymore Never a dull moment. thanks for all the loot mole I appreciate you giving me all my stuff back. I know you didn't want to do it, but you did. And then, what's this little punk got, actually? I feel like that little punk's the one who stole my stuff. Well, hello. Well, hello. So it's what we should do, do a little bit of a hide. Pickpocket him, too. Okay, don't walk straight into his line of view. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. I think we're good. I think we've done... Oh, move button. Sorry about the squeakiness of the mic. But yeah, we can get out of here now because I think we've done what we need and there's no no reason to be here because although they seemed very under the impression that they were attacking us, it didn't seem to be what happened. <laughs> Maybe it is worth going over here though. You know what, we might regret it because it might be nothing good, but we'll try. We actually probably can't get back if we've used the... Oh dear. Well, I'm a bit worried now, because I have a feeling we might have used um, the last of our Misty Step, which means... Are we trapped over here? Sir, and or madam, are we trapped? Um, oh dear. <laughs> oh, we may have made a terrible mistake. Does anybody have something I can cast on myself to jump further or something like that? Did we end up specking into that for anybody? 
Manipulate objects. Uh, not really. I'm a bit worried that we're stuck over there until we rest now. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I've got one other option that I can try if no one else has anything. Hamstring. That triples a creature's jumping distance. Okay. Oh, but I can't reach to do it. I have to be like right next to them. That's really annoying. Oh no, I feel like we've, we've kind of done ourselves in. Okay. That was stupid. No, never mind. Let's try the other option, which is... Um... Can any of these guys jump? <laughs> That's the other option. Anything I can turn into, can it jump? Exposing bite. Spider. Web. Badger. None of these can jump. Cat. Cat should be able to jump, right? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Do we have to take... Does short resting even help? Replenish some resources. Um, it's not worth doing a long rest yet, I'll tell you that for a fact. Shit. Replenish expended spell slots while out of combat. Ooh, we can use natural recovery. That might be a shout. Now do I have jump back? Oh no, apparently not. Apparently I need to use... No, I didn't want to use level 1 of that. Oh, freaking Really? I've now completely done myself in. <clears throat> well... What a good time. When was our last save? Oh, okay. It was just in there. Let's reload. <laughs> okay, so we obviously learnt the hard way <laughs> that... <laughs> um, we, this isn't divinity. We can't just jump across a ledge and then just be able to jump straight back. You got limited spells. So let's just ignore it, because I don't think we even got anything all that exciting from over there. Okay, back up to the Emerald Grove. Now, instead of going this way, we're going to go chat to all the peeps down here first. Because there's still quite a lot of people that we need to talk to. Hello, Zorro. Zorro. Oh, more like eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Hmm. Is this monster with you? I don't want to uh, give the tiefling a menacing glare. Dragonborn power. Oh, everyone approved. <laughs> Very nice. Lower. Oh no, <laughs> Dragonborn. On your knees. She won't say it again. Man, Lazel's gonna love us at this rate. Ha! <laughs> Get wrecked. You saw another gith. Where? On the road, to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. I'll mark it on your map. <laughs> Up. You can keep your innards. Oh, you're not going to eviscerate him. I was hoping for a show. Why are you covered in blood, Asterion? <laughs> I'll 
I'll indulge you soon enough. I, I can't tell. Are Astarion, Asterion and um, Lazel going to get along heaps well? Because they both just want to <laughs> rip people open, apparently. Lazel, what's up? The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. You're a dab hand at interrogations. We might need that skill again. A shell so thin requires little to crack it. The tea sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Heh. <laughs> Did you say teethling? <laughs> I am unfamiliar with the... Well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... Fey run. Uh, no, it's Faerun. <laughs> what do you mean, purification? The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Reasonable. Okay. Well, me and Lazel are getting along relatively well, all things considered. You know, better than we than it could have been. Now, what are you up to? Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Thank you very much for the advice. Now, what can I help you with, Damon? Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My Ooh. selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. I don't know where that is, but can we go there? Uh, that forge is holding on by a thread. Are you a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more... eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But, between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. I have Alas, coins for that. My offerings are far more humble these days. Well, talk to me. What do you got? Let's have a look. You got some good loot. Some good shirts and stuff. I don't know, man. I feel like all the weapons are, like, similar to what we have. Like, we do. You know, we're not at the point where we're going to be finding really good stuff yet, I assume. And, you know, we got to wear stuff that we get proficiency from. But I don't know. I really don't know what I'm looking at with half of it, so I don't want to, like, go out of my way to grab things that are unnecessary or spend money and whatnot, in case we need money later. Saki, what's up? You don't look so tough. Mole fought off a hobgoblin all by herself. Bro, Mole's got no backbone. Mole thought she was going to attack me and Mom, failed completely. What's up, rat? Calm the creature. Ooh. Well, we get a plus five, so that's... Oh no, you're kidding! That's not reasonable. Do I want to roll again? I kind of do, to be honest. Just because I want the rat on my side. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm a druid. Animals, you know? The rat's eyes soften as he emits a pained squeak. What's the matter, Reddy? realize the source of his discomfort. One of his front teeth is chipped. Owie, that's gotta hurt. Oh yes, as a druid I can soothe him. He relaxes, an appreciative squeak escaping his tiny mouth. With an enthusiastic chitter, he urges you to follow. Okay. Let's follow the little rat man. Where's he going? See? You get bonuses when you help the wildlife, you know? Oh, he's taking us in here. Open up. It's locked. We're not allowed in there, technically. Okay, I wonder if we can talk to someone to let us in there. Or if we're going to have to lockpick the door. So we're going to head back in there, but we're going to talk to everyone else first, just in case there's a way that we're meant to get there. Hey, guys. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. Cool. You I haven't spoken to. Okta. No, let me talk. No, no, no. I want to talk to Okta. Okay. Okta, please. 
scowl on your face. You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. You're an old Fancy tiefling, right? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. Uh, agreed. Hungry warriors make for easy prey. You've been on hard times too, huh? Uh, no worse than you're facing. Hmm. Look in your eyes says otherwise. Are you talking about my two different coloured eyes? Here, have more. We'll need every bit of strength to make it to Baldur's Gate. Trust me. Well, thank you. I appreciate the gruel. That doesn't sound as pleasant as I was hoping it would. Auntie Ethel. Ah, uh, it isn't the talk of the camp. <laughs> it's a rare day when I see one of you lot about. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! What? There isn't a bit of colour in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. I'm sorry, I'm a... I'm a dragonborn. Is there meant to be colour in my cheeks? Um, there's no need. I'm fine, really. Sorry, love. I'll just lose the run of myself sometimes. I must say, though, you're looking mighty peaky. What does peaky right? dragonborn look like? I don't get it. I'm fine, just a bone weary. I'm fine, just bone weary after a difficult day. Oh, stop! Even on a good day, half the camp acts like a bunch of screaming brats. I'm tempted to smack them all on the backside and tell them to kiss and make up. Not that they'd listen to little old me. Anyway, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Yeah, why not? Hey, bother. What you got? And we got a lot of gold. Potion of invisibility. Coralon's grace. Ooh. Plus one bonus to unarmed attack rolls. I mean, it's a a slightly better version of what we have, right? It's 1 to 8 rather than 1 to 6. But it's also 240 gold. That seems like a lot. Let's see if I have some good stuff to sell you that will help me buy this. Because it seems alright. I don't want to use all my gold though. That's the problem. And realistically, we don't have a ton of valuable stuff. I can probably sell you a bunch of daggers. And a bunch of bows. I don't. I imagine there's not a ton of reason to keep multiples of everything. And some short swords. Oh, there's not really any benefit to selling skulls. See, all of this stuff, it might come in handy for stuff, and I don't want to risk selling it in case it's actually really good. So that brings us to 126. So then, if I give you, how much do I need to give you? I need to give you 114. Yeah. Accept trade. Sick. Take care now, sweetie. Thanks for the new weapon. I don't know if that was worth buying, but you know, gotta spend money sometimes. Thanks. It's very easy in these games to just never spend your money, and I don't want that to be me. You know, you get to the end of the game with infinite money that you've not spent on anything. Rather buy some cool stuff, Melly. I'm waiting on someone, and you aren't him. Do you mind? Oh well, that's quite rude. The children in this camp are all very rude. Good to be back behind the walls, have to say, for as long as that lasts. Fair. Aridan. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. My dude, I'm walking around with a gith Yankee. I don't particularly care. All you did was stand up to your crew. I respect that. Half my crew are full of holes. Now I'm going to take the blame for leading the goblins here. And losing track of the bloody druid. Who's the druid you lost track of? Alson. He's a leader around these parts. Or was... We've got a contract to track down some relic, and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. 
He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Can I have a look at the contract? <laughs> Job's all yours. If you got a death wish. I hate that There's things are popping up and disappearing too quickly. The opaque goblets for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Um. Any idea of what the relic actually is? If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. Okay, chill look, out, buddy. If you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. Thank you. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. Oh buddy, you don't quite understand yet, do you? Have I spoken to... No, I haven't been to this part yet. Get back, kid. I already told you I don't... I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. Look, we know these little kids are little punks and they steal shit, but... I'm gonna keep quiet and watch. Do it, you gutless stink sack! Ah! Oh, and there's the locket. Knew it. Bloody well knew it. Oh, what just happened? What's happening here? Uh, I'm gonna say the boy's a thief because he was. And both of you thought striking a child was a suitable punishment. Or oh, whatever. His parents won't do it. I will. He's an orphan. How'd you like it if I struck you? You raise a hand to me. It'd be better of stealing it. <laughs> hey, I didn't do anything. I was just standing there. But. Persuasion, let the boy take it as a warning. He's getting off lightly. Seems reasonable. 15. Shit. Oh, no, I meant to add bonus. I forgot. I didn't. Oh, thank God. Oh, I was gonna. Oh, that was almost terrible. But we succeeded. You're not wrong. I wish you were. Child, learn your lesson and be grateful. And you, get out of my sight. Well, it could have gone worse. Could have gone better. It could have gone worse. Nobody died. That's all that really matters. I've spoken to you already, Please. haven't I? Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I've been through enough. I like how he immediately got down on his knees when we came along because he was like, oh, God, <laughs> they're going to they're gonna force me to do it again. Now, there looks like I can go up here. Who's up here? Dennis. And Bex. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A hm. little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Hey, I can turn into a cat. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Good luck to both of you. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? Oh, absolutely. I'll be keeping to myself. People tend to stare at me because I'm a dragonborn. Know what you mean. Do we ever? But I I've heard there's all sorts in the city. It, it might not be like it was in El Terrell. I mean, in Baldur's Gate, they give you a chance. Good luck to you. Wish us a little too. I think we'll all need it. Agreed. Okay, I think... Oh god, frame rate is still struggling. But no, I think we've spoken to pretty much everyone of worth here. There is the stone door that leads us somewhere. A little bit concerned though. That's Zevlor. That's um, that's our, the guy from the gate that was shooting arrows down, so. 
you know maybe maybe we're allowed to be in here everything in here would be stealing unfortunately Zivlor. have you spoken to Korga? not yet no of course you have your own business to attend to but if the druids won't abandon this ritual of theirs it will be trouble for all of us i wonder as a druid if i can convince them to actually You're abandon the it to the gate glad to have another sword we might need it i'll kill every goblin that comes along don't worry they call me the goblin slayer they don't but they will look at me obviously i slay goblins come on now okay back through the stone door Leave me. Please. Yeah, right. now we need to go and kick down this door over here because there's a little old rat in there that wanted to talk to us but maybe we go this way first through the shabby door makeshift prison okay what's in here you ain't gonna shoot me your hands are shaking put it down she can't fight back that's the point get out of the way she didn't kill your brother arca you're better than this shoot before you lose your nerve tiefling if you ever had it to begin with who um yeah shut up those words could be your last i'm not afraid chosen by the absolute i am i'm blessed oh i'll bless you all right Ooh. um i'm gonna move in front of the tiefling's crossbow let's keep the, the goblin alive for now well, gale approved oh god look at the size of me looks like the absolute sent me a protector you're gonna kill him too you move it would be good if i could get on the right side of the goblins uh no shoot me should be easy right or this won't avenge cannon it won't change anything Ooh, uh that one because it seems a little bit nice i love how there's an attack button i can just hold y to attack right now no thanks um let's try this uh, and I want to customize my dice to Behir Blue for now, because that's actually a really nice blue. Oh baby, a triple. That's a 20. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? It's a wonderful question. I actually don't know why I care. Um... Ooh, that's a good question. I think... I, I agree with the fact that she's a prisoner. But also... She's not target practice, she's a person. Uh, goblin prisoner, her life isn't yours to take. Your soft heart will oh, be the death shut up, Lazel. Not sure I get that. The bars don't make her special. But fine. Whatever. It's alright, Arca. Let's go. Well, Lazel disapproved, but I think someone else approved. You're gonna be sorry. Every oh, Gale. What's up, my dude? Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. I still love your Why earrings. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Let's have a chat. Uh, rather important no less all right go ahead we've been on the road together for a while now haven't we hmm? survived some perils overcame some obstacles ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone i've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage the way you diffused the tension between zevlor and aradin the way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder in short i've grown to trust you that was quick I love that, that he brings up the choices I made. That's so cool. Like, that's so good. I love it. Uh, that's very gratifying to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul. Except for my cat. Do you have a cat? You see, I have this... 
condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Is it contagious? <laughs> That's one of the options. <laughs> I love it. But I feel like I have to go for the druid option. Nature provides the cure to most ailments. Tell me your symptoms and I might prepare a poultice or potion. Thank you for the offer. But the treatment for my condition is very specific. What it comes down to is this. Every so often I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Okay. Um, your illness causes you could to, could, to consume raw magic. I'm gonna need the details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Oh, rude. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. More than willing to help you, my dude. Um, where do you suggest we find the artifacts? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. Oh. You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. Are you telling me I'm gonna have to just let you eat all my cool items? There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. That was a big pause. Um <laughs> Yeah, and at the end of all that I lose a valuable artifact, no thanks. <laughs> uh I expected as much. Don't worry, I'm happy to help. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Fey Rune overflows with magic infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. What's the item? Can somebody tell me what the item is that I have that's supposedly excellent for this? It's not the thing I'm holding, is it? Freaking hope not. Um... Oh, okay. That goblin scared me. I don't know what the item is, but I guess when the time comes, he'll let me know. Okay, let's talk to the goblin. Yep. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. <laughs> don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Yeah, I just saved your life. Show some gratitude. They'll peel your face off and nail it to a wall. I ain't scared of some god. Stick a dozen arrows in me and priestess god still patch me up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <gasps> Mighty booyog. I'm not saying we should trust a goblin. But she sounds very useful. She does. She could get this little thing out of our eye, right? Well, I'd certainly like to meet her. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? I don't want to let you out. You already told me what I need to know. I'll find the priestess myself. <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, They'd set the wargs on ya. You. you need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. Hmm. Whoa, this seems like a bad idea, but okay. Let's do it. Then hurry up and do it. Lazel My does tribe ain't not as approve. friendly as I am. <laughs> Ugh, okay, is everyone gonna, gonna hate gonna me for this? Sorry. You gonna open this cage or what? Hang on. Well, hurry up. I got all the time in the world. You don't. Um, I think Asterion's the best for lock picking, right? Oh yeah, look at all those pluses. Oh my lord. Are we about to get like plus eight or seven or something? Not that it even matters. 
Good lord. Okay, every time we need a lockpick, we need to use a starion from now on. Holy moly. Okay, now switch back to Dragonborn before the, the dude gets out. The girl gets out. Ready to go meet my tribe? Just say the word. Uh, follow me. I'll keep you safe. Happily. Lead the way. So do we have a just a goblin with us now? We do. Okay. That's kind of fun. <laughs> cool. Lazel disapproves of everything I do, so I'm going to not let that get to me. <laughs> I wonder if the goblin will help us if we get into combat now, though. It's a rusted prison door. Asterion, you are my savior. Lockpick. Oh, I can't. Okay, I need a key for that one. Good to know. Let's go. Chest. Evidence chest. Let's go this way. Hiding. Attacking enemies while you're hiding will catch them by surprise. Yes, I know. Now, is everyone in town going to get annoyed that we have a goblin with us? <laughs> I feel like that's very possible. Now, Asterion, let's do a little bit of hiding, and then you're going to lockpick this door for me. Good man, good man. Let's do it. Success at the highest order. 21. Beautiful. Okay, open up. Now the rat wanted us to come in here. This Ooh. place is off limits. Leave. But my rat friend. Oh, what do we got? Okay. Insight, persuasion, deception, or intimidation. Or just attack her. Insight is a plus five. Study her face and try to read her emotions. That's a ten. We can do that. Snap, crackle, and pop. Nineteen. You note her grimace of pain. Something is wrong with her legs. Damn it! Don't... Don't look at me like that! You can the rat stay. got me. Just keep your hands to yourself, alright? Uh, need a hand up? I'd just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a falls. Bloody potion! Uh, druid, 100%. Might have been nightshade. Maybe hemlock? Poison, maybe? What? No, the potion worked. I'm strong as a bugbear and fearless. The old lady warned me that this might happen. That it was a side effect. Um, it sounds like you've been duped. No, she's been nothing but kind to me. Why would she... Sorry, I need a moment. I'm not... Not feeling the best, but I'm sure it'll pass. Okay, so she's not doing too well, but there's the rat. Okay, let's talk to the rat. The rat chitters angrily. Whatever broke his tooth is in this room. His dark eyes stare at you, eager for this danger to be banished. Okay, what did he bite? Soul coins? No, that's just a book. Um, what would the little rat have bitten? Druid's Ledger, the Approachable East, Pantry Chest? Okay, she's paralyzed. Now, here's the question. Can we... Not here, uh... Oh no, Shadowheart was our healer, right? Oh no, have I... <laughs> Do it. Am I going to regret not having Shadowheart with me? Because we now don't have a heal, I don't think. Oh yeah, Lazar would definitely not have a heal. Someone's got to have a healing, right? It's possible we don't. Oh wait. Oh yes, I can use Lesser Restoration on her. Boom. My legs! <laughs> Did you do that? I... Thank you. Look, you're not really supposed to be here, but I'll turn a blind eye. Just don't touch anything, all right? Success. Uh, 
Okay. Asterion, it's your turn again. Do a little bit of sneaking. Oh, she can see us if we do that. Can't see us if we're here though, apparently. Open up. Get the key. Get the gold too. Ooh, she didn't see me. Okay, back to the dragon bone. Back to Tyrius. Now, ready. What's up, my dude? What is it that you bit into? The backpack? Is it over here, whatever it is? Let's see what pops up. What would a rat buy that would break its teeth that isn't like a like a normal thing or looks like something? Why are you sitting down again? Between us, just don't touch anything, all right? Yes, of course, I understand. But what did the rat bite? Help me. Backpack, bottle, broken door. Broken door? Oh no, I didn't want to attack that. Oh, sorry. I didn't think that was going to happen. My apologies. Whoops. Hey, rat. No, no, no. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. I need some information. I can't help you if you don't help me. Goddamn, talk to it. Thank you. Excitedly. The chest is free from danger once again. Oh. Okay. I guess I did what I was meant to do. <laughs> sure. Okay, sure. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. Okay, this goblin with us, that's gonna cause issues. Oh, I can control her? Oh, that's mad. So is she actually gonna help us? Since I can control her now? We've got our little 